Okay, uh, hello everyone. Uh, now we're going to have uh, another round of lightning talks. As usual, we end the day with uh, a couple of short uh, presentations about uh, different uh, project initiatives and activities across uh, the CE communities. Uh, the first one to speak uh, today in this uh, lightning talk uh, are Fusini Mohammed Kamaldin and Fusini Musa. Uh, the lightning talk is uh, titled Interlinks and Cyberlinks for Wikipedia in Other Languages apart from English Wikipedia. Uh, do we have to see any here? Okay. Uh, if they haven't joined uh, yet, then we can move on with uh, the second lightning talk. It's uh, by Natalia Shelahovska, uh, and the title of the Lightning Talk is Wikigap 2021 in the Czech Republic. But I think Natalia is also not with uh, us. Seems, here. seems she's not here, but Eva, Eva is okay, here. We, we can maybe switch to. Yeah. Then we can uh, go first with those that uh, who are already here. <laughs> uh, yeah, and I can I can try to find Natalia. Sorry. Yeah, we can go with Eva. Uh, you were supposed yes, of to course we can. The last one, but uh, you can go <laughs> because we don't have the other people. Okay, Eva. Uh, your lightning talk is titled "Glam Czech Republic," so please go ahead. With it. You have five minutes. Thank you. So I share a presentation. I hope you can see it. My name is Eva and I am a coordinator of partnership program in Czech Republic. And I would like to share our year in GLAM. So I start quickly. Uh, when we tried to push the start of this project in Czech Republic, we was full of expectations and high uh, visions, or at least me. However, many obstacles awaited us to fulfill and fully launch a GLAM project. And now we are in another turning point. We managed to get five big strategic partnerships in a year. And when we include existing one, now we have six big collaboration ahead of us. During that year, we encounter a number of mistakes and conversely a number of small surprises and unexpected situations. In the end, we even took a big step to merge Wikidata and Tech and glam together in one. And I'd like to share this with you because I think that if you start with GLAM, you may, you may encounter similar situations. I started with GLAM in February this year. My former colleague attended some conference in December to 2020, uh, which was uh, attracted uh, attention of large regional museum in Hradec Králové. So when I took the reins and started with GLAM on my own, it was really uh, happy for me because uh, we have a big success, big institution. And I uh, thought that uh, every other institution will want to start talking with us. So I started to write some email and even address some uh, acquaintances in person. And I said to myself, I am art historian. So I understand those institutions and strategic plans of uh, GLAM institutions uh, is uh, full of sentences about the digitalization. So now is the best time to start with GLAM, right? Unfortunately, no, nobody responded. Only a few of my colleagues wrote me that they will send this email to their colleague who take care about digitalization on, or public relations. And after that, absolutely quiet. I started to think about what is wrong with our GLAM in Czech Republic, or even what is wrong with me, maybe my approach to institutions or what. I really didn't understand that. So when, when we uh, went through everything again, we found that problem was with cred credibility. Few people in GLAM institutions knew that Wikipedia was not the only Wikimedia project, and even many of them did not even know that there was some Wikimedia, let alone its other projects. We started working on it and found that the best way how to address institutions is on professional conference. 
there is enough time to present what is Wikimedia and its projects, and also what benefits can institutions get when they will start work with Wikimedia projects. It started to get better. Institution began to respond on their own and we felt prominent again. When another turning point came, we knew that institution didn't know much about what Creative Commons license were and we were pre prepared for the situations, but we didn't know how incomplete their databases were. One minute left. Uh, some institution even don't have inventory number. It was really, really hard. So uh, we decided to, uh, uh, to take another step. We merged Wikidata and uh, Glam together uh, to help them with their databases, to fulfill them, and to find some errors in their databases. And then uh, we uh, managed to, uh, to show how, how Glam uh, can be benefit for them. Following this merge, we have workshop with representatives of our collaborating institution to improve and clarify our content on GLAM project. And now we are here. We've learned that the best way how to uh, address institution in conference, the best way how to help them uh, is to help them first with database and then uh, with uh, uploading their digitalized items. And the best way how to talk about our project is to ask someone from institution to do it for us because he is from the street and we are more involved in GLAM and maybe we are not uh, so good to explain it. So that is from me. Uh, thank you for your attention and I, I hope it could be somehow interesting for you. Thank you, Eva. Uh, now I think we can uh, move on to <laughs> Natalia who is uh, here. Nat Yes, hello. Um, sorry, I got uh, I got confused with uh, how it works. So I was in the main <laughs> conference room. Okay, uh, can you hear me? Uh, yes, we can hear you. Uh, Great. You can start if... sharing your presentation. Yeah, I uh, I will try to do that. Your topic is Wikigap Gap 2021 in the Czech Republic. Yes. And once you're ready, you have five minutes. Okay, let me just uh, prepare from the beginning. Um, okay, so hello everyone. My name is Natalia Szalachowska and I'm a part of a Wikimedia Czech Republic team. I uh, would like to present a topic of Wikicap, uh, which is uh, our, I would say, flagship event um, when it comes to our activities. And it all started with a very sad reflection that only 9% of women are editing on uh, Wikipedia. And uh, we decided it's a very important issue. We wanted to change it. And actually, uh, we started to do it in 2018. Uh, we uh, started to um, developing the activity every year in March, since it's an International Women's Day. So we thought it's a nice um, symbol to empower uh, women voices on Wikipedia. And also, uh, as a global initiative, we joined um, forces with Wikimedia in Sweden and uh, Embassy of S uh, Sweden in Czech Republic. Uh, as you can see, our first uh, event in 2018 was um, rather spectacular. <laughs> it was the big banner outside of the Swedish Embassy, which attracted a lot of people. And um, we made um, an event which, if you can see this uh, dashboard, was basically very well balanced. There were basically half of the newcomers and uh, half of the people of our community. And this was basically our goal that we wanted to 
bring new people to the community, but we also wanted to create um, an event where we can meet and do something together. We followed with 2019 and um, we had um, much more of people involved, including very strong partnerships with embassies and local initiatives such as Czechitas or Czech Women Lobby. Those are like really great institutions here in Czech Republic and they do a lot when it comes to education of women. In 2018, we grew even bigger <laughs> and um, we expanded uh, to Brno, which is the second biggest city in Czech Republic. So as you can see, there were more of us and we wrote much more articles and we have more participants in total. We had a really great team of uh, trainers. Uh, we created basically a really good um, scenario how the Adithaton should look like, uh, including resources and then follow up. Uh, so we were ready for the next year and then 2021 uh, happened when we had to move to, uh, to the online space. However, we were quite well prepared because we have a good PR campaign, which allowed us to basically communicate well, both with two target groups, so newcomers and our community through different kind of audiovisual uh, files, but also through direct communication with people. And uh, as a result, we had five online editors and 30 participants uh, Again, those were both newcomers and our regular, let's see, people. <laughs> uh, a fun fact can be that, uh, that there are growing also um, some tools around the Wikigap that uh, enable to use basically resources that uh, exist in one language so that people can translate uh, articles to other languages or there are um, like other tools that used to check the statistics and everything is basically dedicated to Wikicup. Uh, that's one of our PR, um, uh, PR uh, photos which we used and uh, we basically like to use it for other occasions as well. Thank you very much. <laughs> this <Yeah>. is uh, <laughs> this was like a really <laughs> yeah, short was, run uh, through the evening. Uh, so we have like 15 minutes, uh, 50 seconds uh, until if the end. If someone has any questions, yeah. feel free to ask. <laughs> we can accommodate a brief question if this. I just wanted to show on this last um, slide um, an award which we uh, gave to all of the participants who contributed. And I think uh, those even small steps can bring community together. So I hope uh, it was useful and thank you very much. Yeah. Thank you. Uh -huh. Thank you for your lightning talk. Thank you. Uh, we are moving on to Eva Lepik and Rao Veda uh, and their lightning talk on uh, titled uh, Estonian Wiki Quote, how to get your wiki project into the top 10 in a year and all the ladies. Uh, hi Eva, hi Rob. Hello. So we will uh, start our presentation and yeah, uh, <laughs> we will start the countdown uh, once you start presenting. So you have some time to prepare, to share your screen and to open the presentation. Can you okay, see see our screen? No, no. Yeah. Yes, possibly. Yes, we can see it. Wonderful. Okay, uh, you can start. You have five minutes. Okay. Uh, so we have uh, been uh, quite busy last eighteenth uh, 
eight, 18 months. And uh, I think uh, we can show you that uh, we have been grown a little bit. <laughs> and well, uh, yes, uh, basically, about two years ago, there was very little in the term we could And um, then we pretty much took it over, started systematic work. Uh, as you can see here, we are now on the seventh phase. We started on the uh, 35th. Uh, we are also pretty fast in it, I think, personally, if I say it myself. So, and uh, what else? We've got many ladies here, Okay, uh, uh, we have been trying to, to, to remove the wiki gap, basically. We, we have put the uh, uh, quotation by female, uh, on the front page uh, every day on this year, and we will continue that. Also, Emma has been compiling a big list and adding uh, uh, illustrations by uh, female authors, female artists mostly, uh, in well, pretty much every kind of articles, uh, looking for well, uh, less known, uh, female artists and, and also for uh, the illustrations that are actually topical uh, because, well, not all which food projects uh, take that approach. So, this is um, our statistics, uh, and uh, we've, we've tried to put ladies on the round numbers. So, we started with Greta Thunberg being the one. Article 1000, so, and Emily Bronte is 8000, and you can check who is in between. <laughs> yeah, well, there's a long list. Um, so here's the uh, uh, share of women among the biographical articles in uh, November uh, 2020, and well, no, uh, the, as you can see, uh, the red part, uh, the red part grows currently by about uh, fifteen percent a year. So, if the trend persists, we should be able to get uh, the full circle red in about four years. Uh, how we do it? Well, uh, on on the left you can see the uh, list I made. Uh, collecting data on the female artists everywhere, uh, seeking them up outside Wikipedia, loading uh, their works and comments, then uh, keeping an account of uh, in which articles each one is. In the middle, you can see uh, we have composed a calendar uh, where uh, we have not only women, but well, pretty much everybody we, we consider possibly for the uh, front page. Uh, for each day of the year, and we try not to repeat them if, if possible. And on the right, you can see that while uh, we are a little bit competitive, uh, we are making uh, monthly statistics about uh, how much growth there is in each uh, Greek folk language version, uh, so we can see what's our place and how much more till the next one and so on. So here's a, an overview of our workflow, how we have done it. Uh, we, we start uh, each month, yeah. yes, with a calendar, picking out who uh, will we take, and then uh, gather the books. We digitize thousands of pages each month, uh, partly by scanning, partly by uh, taking photos uh, by phone, and then OCRing. Then we, can, we have the text corpus where we can mine for keywords, creating first to the authors, uh, author or word pages, then keyword pages, a lot of stops initially, but uh, they grow in time. Categorize, illustrate. These are the people that left the messages for which the people have stopped. Hmm. Okay. Uh, well, and uh, the results are. Uh, 
uh, while most of the quote unquote language versions uh, look really, really quiet and relaxed, we are also relaxed, but in the same time quite far. Uh, and well, uh, here are a couple of links, and we, as you can see, our history of users per day and uh, the number of articles created by day. We have most, most work done by two people and the maximum account of uh, articles created in a day has been 173. Uh, we have not made any really great efforts. It's just, well, a nice uh, hobby to have. So uh, pretty much we have proven that if you uh, take a systematic approach, you can do something uh, about the uh, gender gap. Uh, you can grow pretty fast, even in a very small community where you uh, have to be very efficient about using uh, the little power you have. And uh, well, I think uh, if, if anybody is interested in uh, in uh, growing their uh, whole project and, uh, and maybe learning some ideas about uh, how to approach the gender uh, Stopping the gender gap, then maybe maybe uh, there is something they can take from us. Well, that's it. Thank you. Uh, thank you, thank you, Raul. Okay, um, I still don't see uh, Fusini Mohammed and Fusini Musa in this uh, room, so we can move on with uh, the last but not least for. Today's round of lightning talks. It's uh, Nikol Milosevsky with uh, his lightning talk uh, titled Wiki Village. Hello, fellow Wikimedians. I'm here to talk about uh, our project uh, Wiki Village that belongs to our partnership programs from the Cultural Heritage sub program. Uh, this also acts as a QRpedia, as an activity of QRpedia that was in implemented in the village of Galichnik. Uh, that is located northwestern Republic of Macedonia. Uh, the village is one of the most famous and notable villages uh, in the country, if not the most. The village is on elevation of 1300 meters and it's famous for its Galichnik wedding held in mid-July. Uh, the village Galichnik, it characterizes with late uh, 19th and early 20th century stone houses. The village itself and 60 houses uh, are listed as cultural heritage of Macedonia. Uh, hence, only 31 houses are list, uh, are, have survived the test of time. Our goal was to cure, uh, cure code them, leading to articles of the corresponding houses in the Macedonian and English Wikipedia. Additionally, it was planned to place a large uh, newsletter uh, as, uh, with a map of Galichnik to indicate the, the locations of the houses. This two meter tall newsletter was planned to be installed in the center of Galichnik uh, and on it uh, had QR codes uh, of the Macedonian and English articles of Galichnik. Uh, regarding to, uh, at finding the location of the houses, the local community of Galichnik was very helpful with us as well as several people from Galichnik, uh, uh, with whom we have determined the exact locations of the buildings. Also, they helped us with giving uh, guides to get the proper literature for the article's content. Uh, so in July, members of uh, shared knowledge, uh, me and my colleague Ivan, visited Galichnik to determine the terrain and the way the plates should be uh, installed. Depending uh, the terrain, we decided uh, that we need seven lecterns and uh, the other plates could be installed on power poles near the houses. Uh, when it comes to the installation, uh, that was scheduled and made on October uh, 24th, so that was very recent. Uh, and all 31 plates uh, and the map informer were placed in about a span of four to five hours. So 
uh, as a resume with our engagement, the houses now are highlighted and we brought the, the inhabitants, the dwellers of Galicznik and the tourists closer to Wikipedia. The articles have the, ho the house's basic information and history of its families or individuals within those particular families. So uh, basically that was my lightning talk. Uh, if may I share uh, my screen so everybody could, could see some pictures of the project. We have two more minutes, which should be enough to share. So this is one particular plate of the all 31 plates showing a uh, name of the house of the owner. In this case is Georgia Puleski. He is notable uh, uh, historic person from the, uh, from the 18th century, late 18th century. Uh, it, uh, we have the two QR codes one for Macedonian article, one for the English article. It shows direction where the house is located. Uh, shows the logo of uh, our user group. If, if you can see from bottom left, next to it is the Wiki Village logo. And uh, to bottom right is the logo of the local community of Galicznik that helped us uh, in this project. This is, if you can see the, the one of the seven lectures and the house that portrays, that covers with information. Another lectern next to the house on the proximity of the house. This is the map of Galicznik. Uh, I will show you a closer one. So uh, it indicates It indicates as the exact locations of the houses, all 31 houses. And as I said, uh, the two QR codes, Macedonian in English of the, for the village of Galicznik. As you can see, the houses are very specific style. The, so that, would be all from my presentations. Thank you for having my lightning talk and thank you for your time. Thank you, Nicola.